We'll guide you through how to fix Discord not opening. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying, so let's go and get into these fixes. First of all, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and go and type in task manager like so. Now, what we need to do is go and find Discord. You can go and scroll down here or you can click on the search at the top and go and type in Discord. It'll probably be a background process. Go and click on it and click on end task. This is essentially fully closing Discord. And then what you can do is try reopening it up and go and see if that then fixes your problem. Hopefully it goes and opens. If that doesn't work, then what you want to do is go to the bottom of your computer again and click on search and go and type in run like so. Now, what you want to do is go and type in percentage app data percentage like so, and then press OK or enter. Now, what you want to do is go and find Discord in this list here. Here it is, and you want to delete it. You can right click on it and go and click on delete. If you get this pop up, then open up your task manager again and you need to go and close it. Find it as a background process, click on end task, then click on try again and it should go and delete. Then what you want to do is try opening up Discord again. If that doesn't work for you, then come to the bottom of your computer, click on search, and what we're going to do is uninstall it. So type in remove programs or remove apps and it should go and pop up. And we can then go and type in Discord like so, go to the right and click on the three dots and click on uninstall. After it has, then what we need to do is go and download it again. So you can open up a web browser and go to Discord and we can go and download it just like so. And then we can go and install it again. Open up your downloads folder. Here's the Discord setup file and we can go and run it. Hopefully one of the methods in this video has worked for you. If it hasn't, then what I recommend you do is go and search for Discord server status. And what you can do is come to discordstatus.com and go and see if there's any downtime. If there's some sort of problem here, that could be why the app isn't working.